Hey guys, I uh, thought I'd shoot a real quick video. I uh, did a book for the Mister for Valentine's Day. It's just an altered uh, composition notebook. I based it off of one that I saw. Um, oh, is it Craftsy Connie? I'll have to look for it and put it in the, the link uh, in the description there for you. But um, she'd done one for a young man for a college graduation gift and I thought it was epic so I thought I'd try one and it's a standard uh, composition notebook and I went real basic with just stuff that I had um, gel matte medium and PVC glue were my glues of choice and tons of washi throughout so I don't know if you guys can see I made a bunch of pockets and stuffed them with random papers um, just to use for uh, notes, ideas, checklists, that kind of thing. And these, uh, where did I get that paper pack? It's one of the uh, camping sets and travel sets from um, Walmart, actually. It's like five bucks for um, 12 by 12 book of papers these I absolutely love uh, they came out of all, all of these old pictures came out of a book that uh, my neighbor brought over to me he brings a bunch of books that he gets at the thrift store um, and normally I don't actually read those particular books but this one I figured would be um, epic uh, note card type cards um, let's see, uh, his name's Robert, so I went with the, uh, our dictionary paper, uh, stamped it absolutely randomly, um, I'm almost out of, uh, ink, so, yeah, it, it was hit and miss with the stamps anyway, which turned out awesome as far as grunge, um, added the washi, I don't know if you guys can see that at all, but this page, um, paint chip, uh, the paint cards, I thinned down and just stuck randomly to make a pocket. This itself is a pocket. Um, that camera paper was uh, in the same paper pack that I got from Walmart. This measuring tape thing um, is actually on the back. It, it's the band that's on the three pack of Moleskine notebooks. So, it's on every one of them, I believe, but uh, I tore it in half, uh, inked it up, and tore it as needed throughout. Uh, let's see. I just did random coffee stains and random stamping. Um, I have no idea if you'll even use it um, or what we get, but uh, I, I thought it was a great way to... Um, learn new techniques and, and whatever. Uh, this, I absolutely love these pictures. The, these pictures from the... I cannot even remember what the book was. But they are amazing. Amazing photography. All sorts of random things. I made uh, more of the pictures from the book. But I put them on random envelope stuff and made more tuck spots. This is actually, he used this the other day, I uh, went out shooting with a buddy. Uh, leftover school paper from a Scattergories game or whatever. These are all things I tore out of the dictionary that um, we have running jokes about um, down to the pterodactyl. Um, I won't share those with you, but uh, yeah, this, this page should be amusing if nothing else. Uh, just leftover stuff. I. I ran this through my Xyron sticker machine and just added the washi so it looked like that's what was holding it in there. It doesn't actually serve any purpose, really. Um, let's see. Uh, coffee stain papers. I love that they just get crinkly and noisy. They feel amazing and uh, I have several books that I've made for myself that are coffee stain papers and um, I absolutely love to write on them. There's something about the, the texture that, that encourages me to use them and to write. 
Uh, let's see this spread. Okay, this one I made, it was a last minute idea that I added another last minute idea to. So it's not as neat as I'd like it to be. But I started with um, papers, uh, scrapbook papers. Oops, sorry, apologies. Um, and I made them into a little fo file folder, uh, expanding file folder, like randomly. But I stuffed with uh, all these little random note papers and things. He loves to use these for making lists. Um, so I figured I'd chuck a bunch in there. This one is the buck stops here. It's just cute little paper we got from the thrift store. Um, I didn't think about it to start with. I wasn't sure how I was going to do a closure on this. I made um, this into a little tuck pocket. And then I found last minute um, these little sticky magnets that the uh, stickers on the back at Walmart and the they're not real strong really but they work so um, I think next time I'll try and do it you know plan ahead and, and do it under the paper and see if they still work um, so you can't see them but uh, I've never played with that before so I'm quite pleased that it, it does work, even if it, it's not as neat as, um, any of this is not as neat as I'd like it to be. But uh, I've never done it before, so now I know what to do better. Uh, random tuck spots here, here, and yet these pictures, I don't know how, how well you can see them, but I absolutely adore them. This is uh, the tag off his new toy. Um, I don't know if you're gun people or not, but uh, it's a survival rifle that packs down just into the butt of the gun, and it's absolutely genius for um, camp gear, survival kits, that kind of thing. And this page was just full. Well, you don't need to read that. Um, Wind in the Willows is one of his all time favorite books, um, so, and I found these. I can't remember if they're from. Sorry, I didn't even write it down. Um, Ephemeris. Vintage Garden, possibly. I'm not sure. It's one of the free printables there. Um, I'll see if I can find that again, too, and link to it. Um, these are from leftover card uh, game cards and things. It was a family game night box at the thrift store that had been ransacked, and, and these tear off. They're all perforated. Um, but yeah, I'm not familiar with the game itself, but I figured... I throw a couple of those in there. Um, locks, paperwork, or papers. Um, he's obsessed with old school locks and, and that type of thing. Um, and again, I don't know what he's likely to use, uh, if any of this, which is fine. Um, I turned the back side of this. Uh, this is a map of the state that we live in, and I sliced it and turned them into pockets here um, that I just made little tags. Um, yeah, lots of note tags type things, random paperwork. Let's see, I can't remember what these ones were. Oh, they all stick so well together. Look at that, though. Like, seriously, can you imagine? Again, old school old school stuff and these actually the pictures were stuck to if you can see here um, book paper uh, some of them were dictionary papers um, and then once that was dry I tore it out and then just stuck it on file folder card uh, it, it'll make if nothing else these will make good bookmarks and he reads a lot of books so that'll be cool this is my all-time favorite from this entire series uh, of old school photos and I have a, a huge stack still sitting over in the corner um, but yeah this had the, the Buffalo Bills Wild West uh, advertisement poster when they took this, this photo back in the day which I just adore absolutely wonderful um, okay um, and then these I'm not going to pull them out because they're a pain to get back in but I just made tags so two pockets this way and one this way um, note paper, just random note stuff, uh, huge tuck pocket here, 
I love the maps, any of the map travel papers, and these I've grunged up with black ink because I didn't have any other, uh, more of the moleskin measuring stuff. Let's see, random tags. This one I made from papers that are in the book. These, oh goodness. Um, this one, I think the little dog is from Ephemera's, one of uh, Ephemera's Vintage Gardens sets. They're free printables. I don't know if he is or not either. I'm going to have to backtrack and see if I can find where I got them from. But there's a bunch of, like this that they're adorable. Um, and yeah, I just stuck random stuff to the back. That he can use or not, doesn't matter. Um, this is from... Um, let's see, it's an Icon uh, leather jacket, um, motorcycle jacket that a friend of mine, or a friend of ours, uh, got for me. Um, it's fully padded, it's freaking amazing. Um, huge safety jacket, it's very cool. But uh, I loved this. It, it just, the toughest nails on the cow just cracked me up, so I kept it. Alright, let's see. And then, yeah, the, these aren't in any particular order. You can take them out, chuck them, use them as bookmarks. I'm not too worried about it. Um, let's see, my paper. This one um, is from a different paper pack that I also got at Walmart. And I absolutely love it. I stamped on it some with the hearts. but And these are the paint chip card sample things again um, that I just cut and glued in dots and then just wash it just to keep it there. Uh, ephemeris vintage garden printable I think um, and this the 12 by 12 is actually folded on the top um, on each side so I give it a little bit of strength and it's glued along the very edge and the bottom um, to here just to give it some structure and that's I think these are double I think that's a double page um, that I glued of the lined paper, so it's, it's pretty stout. Um, I was quite pleased with how it came out. Uh, random note, checklist paper. I have a bunch of these. I got them at TJ Maxx. Um, I think it was 4 or $5, and I use it for everything. It's, it's amazing. Uh, let's see. Random tag, list stuff, and uh, Uno card stuck down with washi. In no particular fashion. So I love it. It's lots. That's our bigger section there. Um, and I'm considering inking up the edges still, but I don't know. Just grunge it up a little bit. Okay, so I made this pocket. Um, same thing. It's two uh, notebook papers on each side stuck together. And then it's got the... Um, this is a really stout cardstock uh, paper stuck to this side and a map of the state he was born in um, that are grunged up except for the bits that he needs. Um, and then this one is just scrapbook paper and I actually cut this one, it's not folded, which I probably should have done. It's still stout, but I'm a little worried about this, this cut edge here. Uh, which I may put some washi on or something. Uh, random papers for planning, um, jotting things down, that kind of thing. Which he does a lot of with schematics and whatnot. Um, target practice. Same thing with, with this section. There's a lot more in this section of um, not just the, the coffee cups, but some the, the stamping with the coffee cups but there's more of, of just I took a napkin I cleaned up the space and just kind of laid it in there um, I don't know if I like those as well or not see this one's real, real good but yeah I don't know I wasn't sure how well it had come up I and mean, the color is fine but it probably should have been a lot more even I'll have to play with that some more um he loves photography. I found photo paper. Um, loves the outdoors. This one is actually folded over, stuck to one page, folded over, stuck to itself again. So it's really, really stout. Um, 
right up to the edge there and it's two let's see two notebook pages on the, the back side here and the excess because they're 12 by 12s I didn't cut them down before I started I didn't know what I wanted to do with them yet so um, once all that was dried I flipped it over folded it in half here glued it to itself and then folded it again and glued the edges down to make a stuff pocket in which I just folded some random papers and if I remember correctly this one was a little bit tight to get stuff in but we'll get it close enough there we go but it holds really well it's very secure alrighty um and then yeah more random notebook paper I don't think I stamped anything in this section because yeah I need to get more ink um those <laughs> those were his uh test bars for the uh the new toy um, I love the log cabin paper this paper is beautiful um and this is actually all glued down uh, with gel matte medium and yet yeah, washi I just went back through and made sure it was throughout so everything kind of matched um I don't know if I want to pocket or put these in one of the previous pockets but there's just some extra random uh graph papers for him I punched a hole here and he's a huge fan of paracord so I don't know if I'll, I'll keep the the compass on there or not uh these little survival button compasses and they're awesome they just clip onto all sorts of things I used to wear this one on my uh watch band actually um but yeah I just did a, a double pull through there uh let's see the back paper is the rest of that log cabin um, just fold it over um, and I don't know yet if I'm gonna I may mod podge uh, the cover just to protect these papers a little more they do have gel matte medium on them so they feel oh let's see it almost feels like leather actually I absolutely love it um, but yeah I, I may do either another coat or put some uh, gel matte medium on them um, and then yeah it's just a couple rolls around and on the back it uh I just have been pulling it through nothing fancy here and for the most part it's been holding itself but that's pretty much it I think uh, for the altered composition notebook I will be making more of these just to test some different theories and, and get a little better at it this is my first one um, and I'm stoked how it's come out as far as the proof of concept I love it and I'll be making one for myself because of the extra pockets but the notebook paper as well because I am a huge list maker anyhow if you guys give it a go or um, have any thoughts ideas tips any of that let me know give us a like and subscribe and i will catch you guys later bye